I'm Tim Spooner. I'm an artist based in the UK and I work in a, in a kind of bit of a mix of sculpture, painting and live performance and installation a bit as well. Usually in a way where all those disciplines sort of join together in the middle. I think always it's about materials, like what materials want to do. Trying to find a kind of empathy with materials in different ways, to sort of see something alive in it or something that we can identify with. We're at week four of the development of it. So we spent two weeks, Sam from Terrapin and I, in London at my studio and also in a rehearsal space. And now this is kind of the end of the second two weeks where we're working in Hobart. It's a piece of work that we're thinking of as existing over a long duration, so maybe around five or six hours. And it all happens on a stage with a kind of truss structure over it. And there are several performers, but none of the audience will see the performers. So everything you see is operated by people from under the stage. It feels like quite an old fashioned puppetry trope in a way, because it feels like contemporary puppetry, you're never trying to hide anything, you, you, you know, you see the workings. But we were quite interested in what happens when you go back to the human beings being invisible, like what, what does that reveal that's new? All of my work over the last few years has been about how do I disappear as a performer in it. Um, because I do lots of work where I'm kind of demonstrating materials or objects um, and I found myself wanting to kind of retreat from that and, and really kind of spotlight the, the material for what it is. So that was our starting point rather than a kind of narrative or story or look, an idea of any of those things. A lot of the stuff was kind of off cuts of stuff that I had in the studio so lots of the materials we're using they've kind of developed a bit from there but they started life as bits of fur from other projects or bits of tubing from other projects and lots of magnets that I had a lot of already and the kind of idea of the magnet has, that's kind of one of the main mechanisms we use for manipulating objects but it, it's also kind of I feel like the whole piece of work is about magnetism and attraction in lots of ways. I think even, even during the production there'll be a lot of back and forth between the kind of rehearsal experimentation with, with the puppeteers and then the kind of workshop studio side where we kind of adapt and edit objects to really, really get them precise and exactly what they need to be because it's, it's a real game of kind of the kind of precision of the making and the virtuosity of the puppetry and how those things meet but also with this kind of chaotic, uncontrollable wobbly kind of um, energy to the whole thing.